Hello everybody and welcome to Parks Bros. It's Drew here. Today, we're at Holiday World and Splash and Safari. It's gonna be a fun one. Let's go. It was day four of the Parks Bros. Road Trip 2022 and we were ready for Holiday World and Splash and Safari, our next park on the trip. After three days at Kings Island, including a full 13-hour day, with little to no rest in between, we set off from Louisville, Kentucky, all the way to Santa Claus, Indiana, for our first time, at least for Zach and I, in the state. First thing we noticed was, of course, corn, and some more corn, and some corn. But from just behind the big lump of knobs, there sprouted some roller coasters, and it didn't matter how tired we were as well as how hot and humid it was, as seeing those coasters for the first time brought up our spirits immensely. Well, at least for now. All right, walking in, first impressions. Really beautiful little entry plaza. Love the fountains right here. I will say, we are very confused on where to go. We have no idea how this park map works. Even while looking at the actual park map, we're, we're still quite confused on where to go. I think we're gonna go to Voyage first. It's just after park open. About maybe 10, 15 minutes after park open. So let's go that way. After Christmas comes 4th of July, apparently. Who's heard of Valentine's Day or St. Patty's Day or even Memorial Day. Oh, look at this. Beautiful little model train here. They've got the Lewis and Clark Trail back there. That seems to be the antique cars ride. That'll be fun. Definitely want to check that out. Boston Tea Party seems to be the little gift shop over here. That's kind of cute. And then of course, Liberty Launch, a little SNS shot tower shoots you up to the top. There, wait, blue ice cream? There's even blue ice cream in here. What the heck? There she is, the voyage. That is so That's gonna be our first stop right behind the tree now. But look at this, Splash and Safari off to our left. Not open quite yet. We've got a little under an hour before we can travel into uh, this crazy land of amazing aqua coasters and water slides. But first up, we gotta hit the, the big baddie at the park. Here, oh, we're here. How about that? We've made it to the, the spot. Thanksgiving, apparently right after 4th of July. <laughs> Boy, the line is definitely a little long for the voyage, but you know what? We're gonna wait in it. Let's let's hope it's not too long. Thankfully, no switchbacks yet. Something really amazing at this park is that soft drinks and water are completely free at these Pepsi Oasis stations all over the park. You can just grab a cup, grab your favorite soda or pop or whatever you want to call it, and uh, keep going. You just rode that beast. I have a lot of thoughts after a first ride in the second to back row. So second to back row on the voyage, the legendary voyage. I know it's not the legend. We'll get to that later. That was a lot of fun you know a little smoother than i was expecting but just went on forever i think that's why a lot of people like this ride it goes on forever now i should get this out of the way i don't think this is the best ride in the world at least not right now <laughs> it was running a little slower it felt like i'm sure especially since it is the morning and we just had a pretty long downtime. there was a little bit of a light curtain error but we rode it had a heck of a lot of fun that's the best way I can describe it. A lot of fun. There's a lot of cool pops of random airtime, some cool like twisting sections towards the back there. Just a lot of fun. That's the only thing I can really say about it. I do think the ride gets better in the second half for sure, at least past those first three airtime hills. But speaking of those airtime hills, 
we were timed perfectly with Thunderbird rolling right above our heads, which was really, really cool. I, I adored that visual moment. Speaking of Thunderbird, we're heading there now, but Voyage, definitely gonna have to come back later on because maybe our thoughts will change a little bit more. Thunderbird is quite a walk back compared to Voyage even. I think Thunderbird is the last attraction back here in the park, if I'm not mistaken, as you see it go through that. Immelman, very excited for though. Second link coaster ever. Well, at least for me and in terms of B&M. Something I do have to mention as we're walking through all the way to back, towards the back of the park, I'm getting a little winded. These hills are a little steep at points, but something I definitely want to say, there are an abundance of trees everywhere, at least around the rides. On the pathways though, there's barely any shade and it feels ridiculously hot already today with the humidity and the heat itself. So. It's definitely a scorcher trying to walk around. I'm liking the theming of the station for Thunderbird. This launched wing coaster is going to take us up to a pretty high speed. I think, I think around 60 miles an hour. Very excited. It is a very long way from Thunderbird. One thing I definitely have to commend Holiday World on though is the amount of amazing merchandise they have. They have all the coaster cutouts. They've even got some amazing made to thrill stuff and pursuit of thrills stuff. And even some cool artwork from other Instagram peoples. It's really awesome. All the amazing merchandise here. I might have to just buy some of the stuff because it looks really good compared to usual park merchandise. There's a lot of really cool little things you can do with this park too, including fuel rods, which is like a replaceable charger, which is really cool. And I gotta say, one of the best things about this park is free sunscreen in kind of like little bottles, just like, like a hand sanitizer. And of course they do have hand sanitizer as well. But we just rode Thunderbird in the very front row. It was super, super fun. That launch is awesome. Uh, I hope B&M does some more launches in the future. I know they've got one going to SeaWorld Orlando next year, but the ride was a lot of fun. I was on an outside seat front row on the right hand side. So we got one of the barn moments, but not the other. Still a lot of fun. Um, I'm not sure exactly which ride I prefer. I think Voyage just for its length currently, but there's a lot of cool inversions and turnarounds on oh, Thunderbird. And the sunscreen, by the way. It smells fruity. It smells very fruity, almost lemony. Oh, that's okay. All right, we're just putting things in my face. And after Thanksgiving is ha Halloween. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Alrighty, next stop though on this coaster bonanza is the legend, another legendary wooden coaster. Literally this time though, very excited. Something I definitely have to mention is that all three of these wooden coasters at the park are golden ticket winners for best wooden coaster. So they're all fantastic. We just got off the legend finally after about maybe a 25, almost 30 minute wait in total. In the very front row, that's my favorite ride of the day, pretty easily so. The laterals on that thing is just, it's insane. There's a helix towards the end of the ride. It does not end. Brilliant. 
fantastic wooden coaster. One of my favorite wooden coasters, to be honest. And I know that's gonna that's gonna rile, you know, uh, ruffle some feathers, if you if you might say. Although we're in the Halloween section now, it's it's really really good. And I gotta give it this pretty smooth, especially through all those laterals, especially like the fact that they're unbanked turns and they were really smooth. Great job, Holiday World, on, on keeping this thing running great. Heck, that was, I was not really expecting good. that. Oh boy. Had to walk by a dive. Also, the helix back there for Legend, you can see it. Um, cool little diving show. That's really cool, but we're, we're more focused on the coasters currently. Approximate wait 20 minutes from this point. Ooh, so not too long of a wait, it would seem, for the Raven. This is the oldest of the wooden coasters here. Pretty excited though. I thought it was the playground. Alrighty, so we just rode Raven towards the back. Some really great moments on there. I really enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, super, super fun. Although I will say it's a very stark contrast to the other wooden coasters here because it's pretty short in comparison in terms of duration. Like the other ones just go on forever. Raven kind of ends a little quicker than you'd expect. By the time it hits about two o'clock, it seems like most of the front of the park is emptied out. It seems like most people go over to Splash and Safari, which we originally were gonna go to almost immediately and then voyage had some you know technical issues which made us wait a little longer and then we said you know what let's just ride all the coasters so we stopped at the pilgrims cafe next to voyage to get a full thanksgiving dinner the turkey actually really good especially with some gravy on it the stuffing is amazing the mac and cheese is awesome i have a strong disliking of green beans and i want to eat the whole thing the cornbread a little dry though and if you're curious, even with my extra dessert of a pecan pie, it was only like $22 for this full feast and drinks, of course, were free. Next up though is Gobbler Getaway, a fun little shooting dark ride themed around turkeys. We're gonna, we're gonna use our turkey collars to get the turkeys. Well, this is a nice change of pace in terms of theming in the park. Really cool. There's even got, they've got grandma telling a story about the Gobbler Getaway. You see, the Tom turkeys always seem to answer when they hear a good turkey call. And what's the very first So once you get in, stop. So we just did Gobbler Getaway. That was a lot of fun. Worked a lot better than the Boo Blasters we we were playing uh, a couple days ago. And uh, really cute. I love the theming of it. It was really, really nice. Kind of more wholesome for Thanksgiving. You know, you're just rounding up the turkeys. You're not eating them. Next one of the day before we head over to Splash and Safari, we're gonna get wet to begin with on Frightful Falls. Frightful Falls, uh, it was okay. I, I mean, if you're sitting up front, you'll get pretty wet like I did, um, at least more than I was expecting, but it's very short and there's not too much going on. After beginning to get a little wet, we're finally gonna head towards Splash and Safari, the water park. This is a legendary water park. Opens a little later than the park, but we'll close a little earlier as well. So we'll see how it is. We've got a good three, maybe four hours to check it out. Won't be filming too much because I'm gonna be completely soaked from head to toe. So it's gonna be kind of hard to hold the camera. All right, scratch that about us going to Splash and Safari. Um, I am currently near to overheating. <laughs> it is that hot and humid outside. It's just been insanely so. Even with the free drinks, the free sunscreen, there's not enough shade to like really be able to cool people down unless there's clouds out. So it's been really rough, especially after three days straight of this. And I gotta say, um, we didn't have this experience at Kings Island, even though it was just as hot and just as humid. But this park, I don't know, for some reason, I just I just can't handle the heat. So we're, we're chilling out in the Christmas village <laughs> to cool down. Also, the AC is brilliant, apparently, in the North Pole. So it has now reached about 6 
p.m. We sat down for about an hour and a half in the in the front entrance like banquet hall. Really, really needed. I feel so much better. Got to just relax, be out of the sun. Now we've come out and there's actually some rain clouds overhead. So maybe we'll get some rain here a little bit. Um, but it's so much cooler just without the sun beating down on us. So maybe uh, we'll be good to ride some rides soon. And I hope Mario's doing all right, riding all the slides. Um, you can check out, of course, his video right here whenever it goes up, because he's going to be able to tell you how great all those are, where me, not so much. Well, we were thinking about maybe potentially walking in the Splash Safari for the last hour of its operation, but we just heard some thunder. So we'll see what's going to happen in the next couple of hours. Hopefully everything stays open. Hopefully the lightning stays far enough away that that doesn't really affect us. Well, just a couple minutes later, because of the thunder, most of the rides, at least the larger rides, have closed due to weather. But while we're standing here, there's these little feet portions, I guess. I don't know what to call them. But you can actually text Voyage to this number and get a phone to take your picture right there. There's literally like a little iPhone right there. Whoa, I just texted the number and this happened. So that's interesting. I like how it had the real time stuff. Oh, I just got a text on my phone right now. All right, I just texted the message. It gives you a number that you can go turn into one of the photo retail locations and probably go purchase the photo, um, which is kind of a bummer. I was hoping it was free, but you know what? It's still a really cool feature that you just text that number and boom, you get a, you get a picture on Voyage. Since we're next to Voyage, might as well check out this gift shop too. I really like these designs. Honestly, Holiday World merch is just top notch. Oh, wait a second. It's even the it's purple. Like the exact it's literally bro. the exact cup. Holiday World, I, 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 I gotta talk to you. I gotta talk to you. Also, of course, Made to Thrill, one of my favorite designers, has posters all over the park as well, and tons of other merch, as you've already seen. Well, now we've popped a squat right in front of the legend. We want to get one more ride on this and then one more ride on the voyage, but the weather is looking not so great. Now it's projected that there will be thunderstorms for the next four hours. Um, man, it has been just an unlucky day. That's all I can describe this day as right now, unlucky been about maybe 15 minutes since uh, we talked last. The thunder is coming in so frequently from just over in that direction that it sounds like there's a fireworks show going on. If only there was. If only it was just that. Because then we could ride this beauty. Yeah, still sitting here, if you were curious. I will say, today has been a story of lack of sleep plus lack of shade equals um, unlucky, really. Well, some good news about 25 minutes later. They've got a test. Coming around, we'll break light like. Well, looks like the luck has turned in a different way. Back row. Sunset, almost, almost night. Wow, legend is a legend. That, that was so insane. Also very back row too. Now we're gonna try and get over to Voyage as quick as possible to make sure we can get another ride on that. But if legend is that much better this far into the day, I cannot imagine what Voyage is going to be like and it makes me incredibly excited. That was the thing of dreams. Oh boy, Voyage, near night. Let's just get on as quick as we can because there is thunder coming. Alrighty, this is, this is the moment. <laughs> oh, and there's no one here too. I'm curious how the regular line is. Hopefully we don't have to wait too long. Twilight, back row, rain ride. Whoa, whoa. I'm pretty sure compared to this morning, those are two different coasters altogether. If there was just one ride that I would choose to have again, it was that one. That was just mind blowing. Lasted forever, kind of bumpy, not gonna lie, it hurts a little bit. Uh, definitely gonna need a little breather before hopping back on, but whoa, so, so amazing. I will say this though, my head hurts. Other parts of my body definitely hurt as well. Those PTC trains are not the most comfortable, 
but boy, oh boy, just the non-stop airtime laterals and the ride being as long as it was <sighs> into the middle of literally nowhere while being pelted in the face with rain. Oh man, that that is something I don't think I'll ever be able to recreate. Anyway, before we get a ride on Thunderbird, all I can say is that ride on Voyage was what I expected Voyage to be. That was Voyage. But Thunderbird time, why not? Like, if you like, Oh wow, and look, no weight either. Also, I didn't, I gotta say, the lighting effects, whenever it launches, all these lights kind of flicker. It's so cool at night. Oh my goodness. So we just, we just speed walked from Thunderbird all the way to Liberty Launch because right in front of our eyes, they closed Voyage for the night. Literally right in front of our eyes. Such a bummer. But at the same time, you know what? We're gonna try Liberty Launch to end our night. It'll be a lot of fun. And there is lightning coming. Zach just got a lightning ride on Voyage. All right, Liberty Launch. Great couple bops of airtime in there. Also got to view the lightning from up top. Really cool. But I just wanted to say something real quick. Zach got a front row, full night ride. I can't, I'm so jealous. But at the same time, Thunderbird in the back row. And uh, it was a funny, a funny little thing. Mario and I both saw a firefly light up halfway through the ride at the same time, and we both went at the exact same time. Firefly! And it just, it made that ride so much better. I mean, that ride was fantastic also. It feels like ever since the first lightning storm came in earlier that closed everything, kind of opened up this park. It made it come completely alive. The employees are more excited. The, the people visiting are more excited. It's awesome. Oh man, with all that said, I have so many more thoughts, but we gotta get to the car because the lightning. But yeah, we don't have too much time to ramble on about how incredible this park can really be. Um, I, think, I think the crowds definitely kind of changed how our day kind of went. It, just a lot of bad luck, bad happenstance. But then after the thunderstorm that came through, everything has been amazing. But with all that said, I hope you're all having a great day just like Zach, Mario, and I are having. Make sure to go check out Mario's video as well. Right, Zach? Yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't because we got another video from Kentucky Kingdom coming very soon. And of course, Cedar Point is on the way. But until then, we'll see you on the next ride.